Hello, and welcome to our channel, Mind Your Marketing. Today we are counting down the top 10 movies that every marketer, businessman and entrepreneur should watch. Starting from number 10 is Margin Call. Margin Call is the story of a respected financial company downsizing during the early stages of the 2008 financial crisis and one of the victims is the risk management division head, who was working on a major analysis just when he was let go. His protege completes the study late into the night and then frantically calls his colleagues in about the company's financial disaster he has discovered. What follows is a long night of panic double-checking and double-dealing as the senior management prepare to do whatever it takes to mitigate the debacle to come even as the handful of conscientious comrades find themselves dragged along into the unethical abyss. Number 9 is the story of founder of the Apple company, Steve Jobs. The film is fast-paced and provides insight to the iconic Steve Jobs' life. Flashbacks aplenty give us further background. A full-on view of Steve Jobs from 1984 to 1998 encapsulating three distinct product launches. All three events were SRO but the product receptivity was mixed. With public anticipation running high, Apple incorporated co-founders Steve Jobs, Michael Fassbender, and Steve Woz Wozniak get ready to unveil the first Macintosh in 1984. Jobs must also deal with personal issues related to ex-girlfriend Chris and Brennan and their young daughter Lisa. Eventually fired, Jobs launches Next Incorporated and prepares to release a new computer model in 1988. Ten years later, Jobs is back at Apple Incorporated and about to revolutionize the industry once again with the iMac. Number 8 on our list is a documentary revealing secrets of success. It's called Something Ventured. Documentary Something Ventured tells the story of the creation of an industry that went on to become the single greatest engine of innovation and economic growth in the 20th century. It is told by the visionary risk takers who dared to make it happen, Tom Perkins, Don Valentine, Arthur Rock, Dick Kramlick and others. The film also includes some of our finest entrepreneurs sharing how they worked with these venture capitalists to grow world-class companies like Intel, Apple, Cisco, Atari, Genentech, Tandem and others. Moving on to number 7. It is the iconic Brad Pitt's Moneyball. Bennett Miller's adaptation of Michael Lewis' non-fiction bestseller Moneyball stars Brad Pitt as Billy Bean, a one-time phenom who flamed out in the big leagues and now works as the general manager for the Oakland Athletics, a franchise that's about to lose their three best players to free agency. Because the team isn't in a financial position to spend as much as perennial favorites like the Yankees and the Red Sox, Bean realizes he needs to radically change how he evaluates what players can bring to the squad. After he meets Peter Brand, Jonah Hill, an Ivy League economics major working as an executive assistant for scouting on another team, Bean realizes he's found the man who understands how to subvert the system of assessing players that's been in place for nearly a century. However, as the duo begin to acquire players that seem too old, injured, or inept to play Major League Baseball, they face stiff resistance from both the Athletics' longtime scouts and the team's manager Art Howe, who outright refuses to allow Bean's more non-traditional acquisitions to play. When Billy gets his fired for his actions, Peter Brand becomes general manager. Nobody can resist the number six on our list. Story of McDonald's founder, Ray Kroc. In 1954, Ray Kroc an unsuccessful traveling salesman selling Prince Castle brand milkshake mixers. While he has a supportive wife, Ethel, and has saved enough to live a simple and comfortable life in Arlington Heights, Illinois, he craves more. After learning that a drive-in in San Bernardino is ordering an unusually large number of milkshake mixers, Ray drives to California to see it. He becomes enthralled with the concept of McDonald's restaurant in San Bernardino, California, it owned and operated by brothers Richard McDonald and Morris McDonald, Dick and Mac. Unlike most of Ray's customers who will only require one five-spindle milkshake maker at any given time, the McDonald brothers end up purchasing eight machines for their single restaurant. 
primarily on Crocs initiative, the brothers have redesigned the whole concept of the drive-in restaurant to focus on quality food through a smaller menu of only the most popular items like hamburgers, fries, sodas. Croc was impressed by the brothers' speedy system of making the food and saw franchise potential. But they had tried franchising previously, but failed in that they lost control over many of those aspects which made their San Bernardino restaurant successful. Despite believing Ray a bit off crazy, the McDonald brothers somewhat hesitantly enter into a contract with him to be their head of franchising. Croc soon maneuvers himself into a position to be able to pull the company from the brothers and create a multi-billion dollar empire. Moving on to number 5, a 1999 comedy drama film, Office Space. Three software engineers Peter Gibbons, Michael Bolton and Samir have had enough of the daily grind working their dal mundane jobs at Initech Corporation. Subjected to filling out useless forms, fighting with faulty office fax equipment, and their obnoxious boss Bill Lumberg are enough to drive anyone crazy. When Initech announces that they're bringing in efficiency consultants the staff are afraid for their jobs. Michael, Samir, and Peter scheme to get even for the job loss with a software programming scheme that aims to take in a tech for a small fortune through a virus that is designed to skim the rounding on each banking transaction to Peter's bank account. Unfortunately thanks to a typo on the decimal the virus skims a lot of money. Realizing they don't have much time the three scramble to cover their tracks and avoid prison. On the number 4 is the Social Network, the movie reveals the outbreak of world's most popular social platform Facebook. Movie, The Social Network is the story of the creators of Facebook and the subsequent legal battles that stretched out over several years. Told mostly in flashbacks while Mark Zuckerberg gives depositions in two lawsuits, the idea of a shareable social information site came to him one night after he hacked into his school's database and published the photos of all the women at the school. One of his roommates, Eduardo Saverin, provides the upfront financing and Zuckerberg deftly outmaneuvers two other students who had a similar idea. The relationship with Saverin deteriorates and he's soon finding himself on the outside looking in. Six years later, he is one of the youngest billionaires ever, but Zuckerberg finds that his unprecedented success leads to both personal and legal complications when he ends up on the receiving end of two lawsuits one involving his former friend Saverin. The movie is based on the book The Accidental Billionaires. On the position 3 on our list is The Action Killer, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is a thriller set in the nocturnal underbelly of contemporary Los Angeles. Jake Gyllenhaal stars as Louis Bloom, a driven young man desperate for work who discovers the high-speed world of LA crime journalism. Finding a group of freelance camera crews who film crashes. Fires, murder and other mayhem, Louis muscles into the cutthroat, dangerous realm of night crawling, where each police siren wail equals a possible windfall and victims are converted into dollars and cents. Aided by Rene Russell as Nina, a veteran of the blood sport that is local TV news, Louis blurs the line between observer and participant to become the star of his own story. He goes to increasingly greater lengths to catch the money shot. Number 2 is the blossoming relation of a struggling father and his kid. Will Smith's The Pursuit of Happiness In 1981, in San Francisco, the smart salesman and family man Chris Gardner invested the family savings in Oslo National Bone Density Scanners, an apparatus twice more expensive than X-ray with practically the same resolution. The white elephant financially breaks the family, bringing troubles to the relationship with his wife that leaves him and moves to New York. Without money and wife, but totally committed with his son Christopher, Chris sees the chance to fight for a stockbroker internship position at Dean Witter, vying for one career in the end of six months training period without any salary with other 20 candidates. The pair must live in shelters and endure many hardships. But Chris refuses to give in to despair as he struggles to create a better life for himself and his son. Finally, on the top of our list is based on a true story, iconic Leonardo DiCaprio's The Wolf of Wall Street. The story takes us back in the early 1990s, when Jordan Belfort teamed with his partner Donny Azov and started brokerage firm Stratford Oakmont. 
Their company quickly grows from a staff of 20 to a staff of more than 250 and their status in the trading community and Wall Street grows exponentially. As their status grows, so do the amount of substances they abuse, and so do their lies. They draw attention like no other, throwing lavish parties for their staff when they hit the jackpot on high trades. That ultimately leads to Belfort featured on the cover of Forbes magazine, being called the Wolf of Wall Street. With the FBI on to Belfort's trading schemes, he devises new ways to cover his tracks and watch his fortune grow. Belfort ultimately comes up with a scheme to stash their cash in a European bank. However, while Belfort and his cronies partake in a hedonistic brew of sex, drugs and thrills, the SEC and the FBI close in on his empire of excess. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe us for